Hey there friends, in today's iMovie tutorial we are going to be showing you how to use a subtitle feature. This is actually more of a subtitle hack, I'm going to call it, in order to add subtitles to your project. It's pretty simple, I'll show you how to do it right now. Okay, so for this process, again, iMovie really doesn't allow you a lot of different options, but I'm going to show you the one that it really does work best for me when adding some subtitles to a project. So in this uh, project, I, I'm doing a mountain bike tutorial video, and maybe there's a few things that I really want to emphasize while I'm talking. Now, again, this works great if you are trying to translate language, those kind of things, but it is very time consuming, especially if your video does have a lot of speech that needs to be translated. So let me again just show you quickly how I would do this. So in this video, I'm talking about a mountain bike. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create a subtitle talking about that mountain bike. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come up to this little titles menu option over here. I'm gonna click on that. And what we are given is a bunch of different title options for adding text within your project. Now, one of the easiest ways, again, to do this is to come over here and grab one of these soft bar areas. What this is gonna do is it's gonna create an overlay over your video with that white box and then allow you to input some text down there. Now, you can do this again, if you don't want that white box, you can do it again with, uh, one of the ones I like is this lower one that will allow you to just put the text on there. But sometimes you really do need, uh, just because of the different color gradients and those kind of things within your clip, you really do need something like the soft white bar in order to really clearly see things. So let me take this, and I'm just gonna take it, and I'm gonna drag it over my mountain bike clip. And at this point, we can actually drag it out. Let's say maybe you want it the entire length. Again, at this point, if there's a lot of text that you're needing to translate, you'll have to do this multiple times, meaning you'll have to grab this, again, bring it down, or you can do the copy and paste feature to bring these on. So once we have our subtitle in place, you can come in here and you can actually enter the text that you want to have the subtitle for. So over here, I'm gonna just do something easy like this, is a mountain bike. <laughs> Something easy like that. Again, you can have some subtext underneath that. In this case, what I'm going to do is actually delete that. So let's go ahead and check that out and see how it looks. I'm going to play the clip over here. Hey friends, just got back from a mountain bike ride and uh, just noted here. So as you can see, the text doesn't exactly overlay with what I'm saying, but again, you can manipulate that so that the subtitle does come up with exactly what I'm saying. Again, this is a very, what I would call a hacked method of doing things. Unfortunately, iMovie does not make this process extremely easy. You really do have to take the time to go through and translate each section of text if you do want exact subtitles. Again, hopefully that gives you some ideas on what you can use. Uh, I have used this feature in the past. It's been really nice, although time consuming. Friends, if this has helped, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button for us? It lets us know we're making good videos. And you might want to hit the subscribe button because you get a lot more iMovie tutorials that are coming up really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.